Hi everyone, my name is Jeremy Hoyk. I am the assistant sports editor here at the Press in Dakotan. A little bit about me, I have been here since 2006, which is actually really hard to believe now that I say it. Uh, I started part-time while I was still at college at USD, and I came on full-time after I graduated in 2008. And I've been full-time with uh, sports editor James Simbrick ever since, and it's kind of crazy to think that it's actually been six years, but uh, so much has happened. Um, my main duties here at the P&D include, actually there are quite a few things, I'm the beat writer for the University of South Dakota, I cover a lot of Yankton High School athletics, Montmarty College athletics, and then of course a lot of the area, high school, youth, you know, all these, just, it's such a wide variety of things we cover here. One of the funny things about my job is I get this question a lot. Here's what I get a lot from people. Why do you stay in Yankton? Well, you know, I have to chuckle to myself because there are a lot of reasons why I stay in Yankton. A lot of them are personal, you know, being married and, and the family thing. And everything, everybody's really close, so, and there's a lot going on. I, lo I love summers in Yankton. That's one of the main reasons I stay here is just because of that. But in terms of my job, I always tell people, you wouldn't believe the amount of... Uh, amount of different sports and different activities that I just have fallen in love with. I mean, I could just list you a laundry list of things I love covering from archery, amateur baseball, you know, things like gymnastics, cheer and dance, you know, youth events like swimming and, and a lot of those obscure sports, you know, so to say, that uh, a lot of people wouldn't really associate with, uh, with some of the big time sports like football and basketball. but. You know, I've really fallen in love with those kind of sports. Those are the reasons I stay in Yankton. It's just the opportunity from one day to going to a Division One football game to the next day covering a uh, NAI, you know, volleyball match to in the summer going to, you know, amateur baseball games. It's just such a wide variety of, of events we can cover in Yankton. And that's one of the reasons I love what I do here is the opportunities to present so many different avenues for you guys, now including video, and there's just so much going on in Yankton. Our goal is that hopefully you enjoy these videos. Uh, you're going to be seeing a lot more of them. You're going to be seeing a lot more of myself, whether you really want to or not, uh, including some of our other news reporters and potentially some of our other staff members here at the Press in Dakota. We're going to try a lot of new things. We've got some new equipment we want to use. Um, because anymore, people want to watch things online. It's not so much anymore about just reading the print product. It's about social media, which we've, we've been doing a lot more of the last couple of years. Uh, web videos and a lot of interviews. It's basically the, the goal is to be more interactive with you guys. So hopefully you enjoy what you see and we hope you come back. Thank you.